Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and I really hope that you enjoy this tutorial. So for this makeup look, I want to do something that was still wearable in summer but yet transitioning into the fall. Um, and that's why I did a soft smoky eye and then paired up with a bold berry lip. So if you want to learn how I create this look, well, keep on watching. So for the eyes, I am going to be using the new eyeshadow palette from Tarte for the holidays, which is absolutely beautiful. The packaging is stunning. The inside, it's gorgeous. As you can see, it has a great range of warms, cools, shimmers, and mattes. And then it has like on the sides two blushes, a bronzer, a highlight, a liquid lipstick, a gloss, a mascara, and a black eyeliner. So it's a beautiful, beautiful gift. And then let's move on to the first color that I'm going to use on my crease, which is this one right here. Here is a matte shade and it's called Festival and I'm going to apply it right on my crease with this Morphe brush. I don't know the number by heart so I'll put it, everything down in the description box so make sure you check that out for all the brush numbers and I am going to just apply this on the crease and just build it up little by little doing winter wiper motion then I am going to apply the next color with this Sigma brush this one is the E45 and I do remember the number because I use this brush a lot and I like it because it is a pointy and it gives me more precision when I apply darker colors so I'm going to apply next is the Genie and this one I applied it on the outer V of my eye and then I blend it out as you, as you can see going back and forth with the Morphe brush and then the Sigma brush just to give me that nice blended out effect without any harsh lines so you want to build up the color and then go back to the more big fluffy brush and then blend out again so that's basically the process of blending going back and forth with blushes brushes blushes I always make that mistake blushes for brushes crazy anyway the next color the next color that I'm going to be using is the shade Joyos and I am going to apply this on the center of my lid and I spray a little bit of this Smashbox setting spray to make it a little bit more vibrant and also helps me with avoiding a lot of fallouts and then I am going to grab with the same brush this is by Morphe as well on the other side the shade Majestic and I'm basically going to apply this on the inner corner and bring it into the middle of the eye but it's keeping it on the lid to mix it with the more brownish shade that I just applied this is gonna give that brown more of like a speckles of gold kind of thing and then it's just gonna make your brown eyes pop a lot more the golden tones typically make my eyes pop and bring brings out the yellow in my eyes especially if you have brown eyes golden tones are so beautiful and they just, they just makes everything pop so what i'm going that and what i'm doing now is just basically blend blending out the edges so because i have all the eyeshadows applied and i'm not going to apply any anything else i'm just blending out the edges to make sure those shimmery shadows are blending perfect with the other shades that i applied and then i am going to move on to my bottom lash line and i'm going to apply the shades festival and genie right on my lower lash line with a little bit of joyos too so you want to mix all three and just keeping it on your bottom lash line then i'm going to grab the eyeliner that comes in the palette and i'm going to apply this as an eyeliner on my upper waterline and my lower waterline and all around the eye basically so this is a nice cool way to do a soft smoky eye you basically apply like a pencil liner and then you're going to smudge it with a flat brush or with a pencil brush in this case I'm going to be using a flat brush this one is from motives and I'm just basically smudging that um, like kind of like a fade in it like blending it but it's smudging it like around very close to your lash line you want to keep it very close and this is gonna create that nice soft smoky eyes and a, a different finish then let's move on to lashes and I am applying the Huda Beauty lashes in the style Sasha number 11 and this is just gonna give me that nice cut eye effect because they go from long from short to long and then I'm applying the concealer I'm using the Haiti Cosmetics concealer which is really really great it's very pigmented it's like a satin finish like it's it, once it's set it just gives it the nice powder effect instead of like still very 
um, liquidy and it just creases like it's really good I really love this concealer for that reason then I'm using the swirl beauty blender the new one it's so pretty I love it and I'm just blending out everything and then I'm gonna grab the fit me loose powder in the shade light from Maybelline which I've been actually loving some people say they give it gives it flashback to me, I, I haven't gotten any flashback. Maybe you put a lot, you let it set for too long. Um, you can always use like setting spray after to kind of like hydrate your skin back to life. And now let's move on to the bronzer. I'm going to be using the Elsie Cosmetic Bronzer with this brush from Eve Pearl, which I really, really like. It's like a fan brush, but it's like the perfect size. Just place the right amount at the right place without being too much all over the face. You know what I mean? It's just like really precise and I really really love it for that reason the bronzer is so amazing because it is very pigmented and Elsie Cosmetics has a great range of bronzers they fit a great range of skin tones so that's a plus because sometimes it can be too dark too warm too cool too dark like you know but she has like a perfect range of shades and now let's move on to the highlight so I'm gonna be using the highlight from the palette the Tarte palette and it's so pretty it has like a rose undertone to it like a pink undertone to it and it's just like so pretty so pigmented as you can see a little bit goes a long way and I'm using this fan brush from um, Morphe which I really really love this brush everything all the brushes from Morphe the numbers will be listed down below and then I am going to be using this lipstick from Smolder Cosmetics in collaboration with Ashley from Instagram and she did three different colors of lipsticks and this one is so beautiful she also did like a peach tone which is so pretty as well and I have worn it before and it's so pretty and I really really love this color this this is like a burgundy berry like I don't know but it's just like the perfect shade like it's not too bright it's not too it's not too dark it's like perfect it's for summer and fall best of both worlds so here it is guys I really hope that you guys enjoy this video this look please comment below let me know your thoughts and any requests that you might have and I hope to see you guys on my next video don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and I love you guys so much thank you for the support and I see you guys on my next tutorial bye